The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning and welcome to the formal meeting of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Good morning, thank you. Supervisor Hickman is joining us remotely. Here. Supervisor Galvin. Here. Supervisor Gates. Here. Supervisor Gallardo. Here. Chairman Sellers. Here. Okay, this morning, uh, Supervisor Gates will introduce our guest who will lead us in the invocation and pledge. Thank you, Mr. Chair, really appreciate it. Um, we are very excited uh, to have with us today, uh, Sheriff Russ Skinner is joining us to lead us in the prayer and pledge. And maybe, Mr. Chair, if I could just say a couple words about the sheriff afterwards. Thank you. Heavenly Father, grant us in moments of uncertainty a profound wellspring of courage that gushes forth like a forging river. May it bolster us in times of tribulation, allowing us to stand unwavering in the face of adversity. Let this courage be a beacon guiding us through the darkest of nights and illuminating the path of our true potential. Amidst the symphony of existence, let our heart resonate with a melody of profound gratitude we rise up to acknowledge the countless miracles that grace our journey. The laughter shared with cherished souls, the gentle touch of nature's beauty, and the mere gift of breath that animates our being. In this chorus of thankfulness, may we find a deeper connection to the tapestry of life. In the whirlwind of life's frantic pace, we beseech the universe for patience, a rare and precious gem to be treasured. Grant us the serenity to navigate the tumultuous currents with grace and the wisdom to recognize that time is a tapestry woven within both trails and celebrations. With each moment, may our patience become a river that flows gently, eroding the edges of our anxieties. Bestow upon us the gift of courage, an unwavering flame that ignites our spirit in the face of the unknown. Let fear be cast aside as we dare to explore uncharted territories both within and without each courageous step. May the shackles of doubt shatter, freeing us to embrace the boundless possibilities that life has to offer. May our thoughts and intentions be rooted in kindness and understanding. Let the energy we radiate be one of positivity, contributing to the collective atmosphere of peace and respect. In each interaction, may our intentions be clear, our hearts open, creating a ripple effect of goodwill that spreads throughout our community. As diverse beliefs intertwine, may we find common ground in shared humanity. Let our conversations be bridges that unite rather than walls that divide. In the exchange of ideas and perspectives, may we cultivate a culture of respect that transcends religious, cultural, and philosophical differences. Please bless our country, our community, our military, and our public service personnel. Help guide us, nourish us, and protect us from evil. In our Father's name, amen. amen. I pledge the allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and went to the public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice for all. Thank you, Chairman. Board. Thank you, Sheriff. Mr. Chair, again, I just wanted to thank the sheriff. We knew we had a sheriff, but I didn't realize we had a scholar as well. That was beautiful words. Um, really grateful for that and grateful for your leadership over your, your over 30 years uh, with Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. And uh, we had an opera, we just met before this, had an opportunity to discuss many of the issues facing our county. And just wanna thank you for your leadership and please pass on our gratitude to your entire team. Thanks so much, Sheriff. Mr. Chairman, if I may, yes. I just want to quickly echo Mr. Gates's comments. I want to thank Supervisor Gates for inviting the sheriff to come down here. He's gone, okay. But uh, Mr. the sheriff has hit the ground running and what I think we, we see here in this county is that this is a sheriff he here serves all the people, all 4.5 million people of Maricopa County. He treats everyone equally, he obeys his oath, and he has done a great job already in leadership for the sheriff's department and I'm really grateful for that, so thank you. And Thank Mr. you. And Mr. Chairman, I, I, I could be wrong, but at least since I've been here, I think this is the first time we had a sheriff lead us off at our meeting, so that's pretty cool. Thank you. 
Uh, and, and you all probably have noticed that we've made a few changes. Uh, we, we did this to ensure that uh, we can protect the safety and security of everyone attending these meetings. Uh, we will be uh, adapting to this as we go forward, but uh, please, please know that this is done to protect your safety as well as ours and uh, hopefully improve the efficiency of running these meetings. Okay, agenda item number four is the pet showcase, Maricopa County Animal Care and Control. May, please introduce us to today's star pet showcase, Don Johnson. Just trying to get this webcam to work. <laughs> Well, is that Don we see on the screen? Uh, can you see my webcam now? Yes. Okay. So, uh, hi everyone. I'm May. I'm the Social Media Communications Officer for Animal Care Control. And uh, that's Don. Uh, so, he was found in Chandler. He uh, he is just the calmest, friendliest guy. He came up right to his finder's home. Uh, they found him as a stray. And even during when they had his microchip stand, he gave them a kiss. So he's the sweetest guy. Uh, his hobbies include digging holes, getting treats, um, and just getting your attention. As far as we know, he got along with large and small dogs in his last home. And uh, he was also a Tales Around Town uh, pup, which we just started this new program where the public can take out a dog for the day on select weekends and just give them a break from the shelter and just uh, just take them on a little field trip. So he went to the park and he had a great time. He was described as just a calm, friendly guy who just likes to sit and lay down next to you. And the best part is is that he is already neutered, so he will he can go home with you today. Okay. Well, thank you, May, and uh, looks like a happy dog as well. He is. He's sleeping right now, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you. Madam Clerk, are there any announcements or corrections to the agenda? Chairman, I have none for this agenda. Okay, item, agenda item number five is a proclamation public defense recognition week. Madam Clerk, will you please read the pro proclamation? Yes, thank you, Chairman. Public Defense Recognition Week. Whereas March 18, 2024 marks the 61st anniversary of the United States Supreme Court's decision in Gideon v. Wainwright. And whereas on March 18, 1963, the United States Supreme Court ruled in Gideon that the United States Constitution's Sixth Amendment right to the assistance of counsel is essential to a fair trial and requires the appointment of counsel for indigent defendants accused of felonies in state court. And whereas the Supreme Court recognized in Gideon that lawyers in criminal courts are necessities, not luxuries. And whereas Maricopa County upholds and affirms the guarantee of the Sixth Amendment's right to counsel, recognizing counsel as essential to the fairness of criminal proceedings. And whereas Maricopa County Public Defense Services attorneys and support staff continue to work tirelessly to provide essential, constitutionally guaranteed legal services to those who would not otherwise have access to representation. And whereas Maricopa County Public Defense Services not only represent its clients, but also upholds the rights set forth in the United States Constitution. Now therefore be it resolved that the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors does hereby proclaim that the week of March 18th, 2024 shall be recognized as Public Defense Recognition Week in appreciation of the essential role played by the attorneys and staff of Public Defense Services in upholding the Sixth Amendment guarantee of counsel and protecting the fundamental right to a fair trial. Thank you. Thank you. The board will now consider item number five. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve item number five 
And um, Gideon um, is an important case in the United States and a reflection of how unique we are as a country and how unique our Constitution is. So I'm proud to sign this proclamation today. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'll be honored to second the motion to approve our, rec our, rec our proclamation um, in front of us. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion passes. And Mr. Chairman, just real briefly, if, if it's okay, just want to shout out to all those that uh, work in our public defender's office that go out and do just a great job in representing uh, all of Maricopa County and the people in Arizona. So shout out to all them hardworking men and women. Thank you, Supervisor. Okay, moving on to a planning and zoning consent agenda. Item number six, Riverwalk. Item number seven, AES West Wing 2. Madam Clerk, are there any registered speakers or comments received on item six and seven? Chairman, Supervisors, I do not have any uh, speaker forms, but, I, but we did receive two email comments in opposition from Patricia Rosner and Darlene Sanders. These um, comments have been shared with the board offices. We also have Ben Graff representing the applicant who is available to speak if necessary. But, Mr. Chairman, yes, I don't on. know if they, they're, both of these are in my district, so um, I don't think, Mr. Graff, thank you for being there uh, today, but for item uh, six and seven, I move approval of the planning and zoning consent agenda, item six and seven in accordance with the commission recommendations as printed on the agenda. I second the motion. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Continuing planning and zoning, the regular uh, agenda, items eight and nine, village at Waddell. Madam Clerk, are there any speakers on items eight and nine? Mr. Chairman, I've had, uh, a, I'm, I'm sorry if you can, I hope you can hear me. Yes, go ahead. Um, I, I've had uh, discussions with the applicant um, and I don't think it's going to be necessary for any presentation. I appreciate our staff uh, for getting it to this point, uh, but I move agenda items eight and nine to be continued indefinitely. It's my understanding the applicant has agreed to this continuance. I believe further project modifications will make this a better development and possibly for consideration of the next supervisor for District 4. Please be aware there'll be new public notice for any future public hearing that is scheduled. And uh, just a, a quick comment, um, but that's my motion. And uh, much like what we saw a couple a couple weeks ago when a when a project came back uh, after uh, being moved uh, to an indefinite continuance, uh, we were able to see a better project for the neighborhood and uh, the people that live there, as well as the as well as the uh, uh, the developer. So my hope is that gets to that stage as well uh, here in the next couple months. Thank you, Supervisor Hickman. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Under statutory hearings, Clerk of the Board, bingo license application for Dana's Trailer Ranch. Under transportation, item 11, patent easement abandonment, road file number PAB, Dash 0231. Madam Clerk, are there any registered speakers or comments received on items 10 and 11? Chairman, I have none for these items. The board will now consider items 10 and 11. Mr. Chairman, as both of these items are in beautiful District 2, I make a motion to approve items 10 and 11. We have a motion. Second. And a second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, that motion carries. Under County Officers, Board of Supervisors, item 12, appointment to the Corrections Officer Retirement Plan Local Board and the Public Safety Personnel Retirement System Local Board. 
Item 13, reappointment to the ASU Athletic Facilities Group District. Items 14 and 15, community solutions funding. Under county attorney, item 16, appropriation adjustment for grant budget. Item 17, competition impracticable for Snell and Wilmer. Under sheriff, items 18 through 23, additions to fleet as listed on the agenda. Excuse me, chairman. I have a speaker form from Blue Crawley and he would like to speak on item number 21, <coughs> permanent additions to fleet. Okay, Blue. Saying something positive about the sheriff, you know, coming from me is what? Um, but on this, this is something Sheriff Panzone initiated and got going. And I appreciate that we are doing something about, instead of just incarcerating people, that when they're being dealt with, if it is a mental health thing, that uh, that can be dealt with. The other part of it is, is that, as you all know, what is the largest mental health facility in the state of Arizona? Maricopa County Jail. But then do we deal with their problems and such? So I appreciate that this is being done. Thank you, Sheriff Penzone, for setting the example. And uh, I'll see you at uh, 24 and 25. Thank you, Blue. The board will now consider items 12 through 23. Mr. Chairman, I'm gonna to move to approve items 12 through 23, and if I may, make a comment about number 15. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I will second that motion, and I, if it's okay, would love to make a comment in item number 14. Okay. We have a motion and a second. I see some of the vehicles under item number 20 will be available for Sheriff Skinner's behavioral health response team. I wanted to thank him for having the vision to begin implementing this program and I believe it will lead to better outcomes for many of our constituents. <coughs> Vice Chair. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, item number 15 is community solutions funding. And here, this is for the purchase of shoes and water bowls for dogs to be handed out at Maricopa County's heat relief centers. Um, I'm very proud of this because I believe that adding water bowls and shoes for dogs as part of the items handed out at county heat relief centers this summer will be of tremendous help to people trying to keep their dogs hydrated and will mitigate dog paw burns from hot surfaces. As a dog owner myself, I understand how hard it is, and especially in the summer months in the heat, how hard it is for dogs to be out and about. But more than anything, I think we all recognize that if you have a pet, a dog, a cat, what have you, they're a member of the family. And so we are treating a dog just like a member of your family, and I'm proud that we are doing this today. So thank you. Thank you. Supervisor Gairo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, item number 14 is part of our community solution funding. Uh, this started off just a simple conversation with the Gila Bend Fire District, Gila Bend. Uh, near and dear to my heart, my little diamond in the rough, as I always say. A great community, uh, just, uh, just a, a really um, uh, strong um, uh, family environment out there. Everyone knows each other. one of those towns where everyone kind of knows each other. Generations of, of folks have continued to live out there. Um, but this was just a simple discussion. I had lunch with the fire district chief and um, I was just shocked and blown away that um, the fire district out there and as well as other fire districts, not just Gila Bend, you know, they're in a, you know, tight situation. They're required to provide public service, uh, emergency services to the community. And in this particular case, Gila Bend was just lacking of a lot of, of just basic needs of, of a fire district. Just, you know, what, what and I'm, I'm not a firefighter, of course, but you know, whatever they would need in order to go in and assist the people of Gila Bend. So I, uh, they gave me a little list and we kind of looked at it and see if we could help in this case. And this is exactly what we're doing in this case. It's 132,000 that we're gonna be able to transfer the Gila Bend Fire District so they can provide these types of services. This is exactly what the community solution funding was was uh, thought of. I think it was your idea, right, Mr. Chair? I think created the, this, this funding under your leadership, but it's exactly what it's for. It's to be able to partner up with uh, local governments uh, like a fire district and to be able to have 
um, uh, this type of success and hopefully they can use this funding uh, to help in what they do most importantly and that's provide medical service to the people of Tila Bend. Well, thank you, Steve. And, and I believe they're volunteers, aren't they? That, that is correct, Mr. Chairman. That thank you. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion passes. Okay, under county offices and departments, air quality, number 24, amend agreement with Arizona Propane Gas Association. Under elections, item 25, precinct committeemen. Under emergency management, item 26, agreement with securing the city's jurisdictional partners, City of Phoenix. Under enterprise technology, item 27, IGA with City of Avondale. Chairman, I have two speaker forms from Blue Quali. He would like to speak on item number 24 and item number 25. Okay, thank you, Blue. Y'all had a member of the EPA here, and you guys said to him, those 2.5s, all that is is all the fireworks and the burning of fireplaces, BS. I'd like you to look at the organic and inorganic bits of that equation, and how much is it rubber tires? <coughs> Just a thought, y'all. You know, single occupant vehicle, the one thing that you go out of your way to make sure is uh, exempt. Uh, I appreciate what this is doing and I appreciate both your efforts and the uh, APGA to uh, both facilitate and get a change from wood burning to the gas. But then the other part of the equation is, is uh, that's not the major and why when you guys had uh, the EPA out here, you're saying, oh, it's all them fireplaces. It's all them fireworks. Now, I agree that during um, the uh, New Year's celebration in my neighborhood, um, the bombardment of uh, projectiles went from <coughs> seven o'clock at night till two o'clock in the morning and it was pretty consistent. So they did throw a lot of them up there, but those are not every day. So you need to be addressing it a little bit better. See you in a moment. Thank you, Blue. The board will now consider items 24 through 27. I'm also for 24 or 25. Yes, Blue. You did turn in a speaker form for item 25 also. I love the way that the community has dealt with you people on this item. I'm also looking at that uh, circulating petitions is something all precinct committeemen have to be doing right now, because if you want to be a precinct committeeman, you're gonna have to run for that office. So with these appointments, because I don't know what, what the Republicans do, but I do know that with the Democrats, if you don't run, you're not. Now, you can't get appointed again, but the equation is get those petitions and get them signed. Okay, the board will now consider items 24 through 27. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items number 24 through 27. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, that motion carries. Okay, under finance, item 28, funds transfers warrants. Item 29, resolution to apply for tribal gaming funds. Under human resources, item 30, amend premium pay rates. Item 31, employee discount vendor donation. Item 32, market ranges under medical examiner. Item 33, agreement with West Virginia University Board of Governors. Item 34, amend agreement with Dr. Thomas Cohn. Chairman, I have a speaker form from Blue Crawley and he would like to speak on item number 28, funds transfers warrants.
Well, you look at all these things that the uh, nation is doing for us, and also yourselves, as in you're applying for these grants, and these are things that are important to the county. But uh, thank you for the $3,153,300 that they're giving. I go through all of those uh, uh, different entities, Treasure House, uh, Ryan's House, Southwest Human Development, Special Olympics, et cetera, that this is welcomed, appreciated, and too bad we can't fund it ourselves. Okay, thank you. The board will now consider items 28 through 34. Move approval of items 28 through 34. I will second, second that. It. Oh. We, <laughs> have it, Mr. Chair. we have a motion and a second. Thank you, Clint. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And I'm sorry, Mr. Oh, and any, I'm sorry. Any opposed? That motion carries. Supervisor Gallardo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No, just a quick uh, <clears throat> note, just to point out the uh, resolution to apply for uh, tribal gaming funding. I, I know we're, we're merely a pass through. I, I do understand that. But you look at all the different great organizations, and they provide just great services to the people of Maricopa County. Keeler, uh, uh, Agrofria Food and Clothing Bank, the American Red Cross, Habitat for Humanity, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. You have a couple of fire districts. They just, these are just great organizations that are doing great work, and I'm just pleased that uh, you know the, this type of program uh, within our state is, is able to, to fund these types of great organizations. Quite a few of them. Okay, thank you, Steve. Under procurement services, item 35, Maricopa County Public Health Services, Mesa. Under public health, items 36 through 39, amend contracts with Arizona Department of Health Services, Maricopa County Special Health Care District, Native Health, and Mayo Clinic. Item 40, resignation to the Ryan White Planning Council. Under transportation, item 41, road file number A, 700. Item 42, easements, right of way, and relocation assistance documents. The board will now consider items 35 through 42. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 35 through 42. We have a motion. Second. And a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Okay, under setting of hearings, transportation, item 43 and 44, road abandonments as listed on the agenda. Item 45, road file number 6012. Items 46 through 48, patent easement abandonments as listed on the agenda. The board will now consider items 43 through 48. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 43 <coughs> through 48. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. <laughs> Under consent agenda, item 49, appointments. Item 50, minutes. Items 51 through 52, duplicate stale dated warrants. Item 53, tax abatement. Item 54, Delinquent property tax interest waiver. Item 55, property valuations notices. The board will now consider items 49 through 55. Mr. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve items 49 through 55. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Hmm. Under Board of Supervisors Addendum, Risk Management, Item 56, Settlement in Angie Hersey versus Paul Pinzone et al. The Board will now consider Item 56. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve Item Number 56. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Under Board of Deposit, item 57, minutes. Oh, back up. We will recess as the Board of Supervisors and convene as the Board of Deposit. 
The board will now consider item 57. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. We will now adjourn as the Board of Deposit and convene as the Improvement District. Under Improvement District, item 58, minutes. The board will now consider item 58. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. We will now adjourn as the Improvement District and convene as the Flood Control District Board of Directors. Under Flood Control District, item 59, Agreement Environment Activities for Luke Air Force Base. Item 60, Easement Right-of-Way and Relocation Assistance Documents. The Board will now consider items 59 and 60. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of items 59 and 60. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. That motion carries. We will now adjourn as the Flood Control District Board of Directors and convene as the Library District Board of Directors. Under Library District, <coughs> excuse me, item 61 and 62, donations. The board will now consider item 61 and 62. Mr. Chairman, with a shout out to our great libraries and librarians, especially in Fountain Hills, I move <coughs> to approve items number 61 and 62. Mr. Chairman, I will approve, or not approve, support uh, this, or what is it, second the motion. Uh, I'm, I'm reading it real quick at the same time. Uh, second the motion, just say, again, uh, shout out to the Fountain Hills friends of the library, both of them, they are contributing money, but item number 62, the money's actually, uh, there's a couple thousand, it's going to the Gila Bend, or not Gila Bend, Agua, Guadalupe Library for their summer <laughs> program, which is so important. So just a shout out to the Fountain Hills friends of the library. Okay, easy for you to say. Yeah. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. We will now adjourn as the Library District Board of Directors and reconvene as the Board of Supervisors. Item number 63 is public comment. Madam Clerk, do you have anything to report regarding public comment and email responses? Chairman, Supervisors, we did, we did receive a few email comments and all of those comments have been shared with the board offices and I do have four speaker forms and I will bring these to you for public comment. Okay, first speaker is Florence Smith. And next up will be Dennis Hudson. Um, this graphic shows the counties in 2020 that voted for Joe Biden in blue and Trump in red. Less than one in five counties had Joe Biden winning. The Democrats are winning in less counties each time. Obama won in 28% of the counties. He was reelected with 22% of the counties. And now Joe Biden is president with 16.7% of the counties. How does this happen? The Democrats are getting the largest counties. For my book, The Testimony of Fraud in the 2020 Michigan Election, I researched the largest, the 40 largest counties. All of them except one voted for Joe Biden. Over one third of these large counties had 70 or 80% of their vote supposedly going to Joe Biden. How does this happen? From my research, there was much fraud in these counties. Focusing on the county of Wayne, Michigan, where Detroit is partially located, I found over 119 methods of fraud being done to get votes. I determined this by reading a couple hundred of affidavits of people who witnessed fraud happening in the 2020 election. As a large county, I feel Maricopa will continue to be targeted and fraudsters will aim for a lot more votes than the 49.81% Joe Biden got this time. Some ways that are important for Maricopa to stop fraud are military ballots. 
The audit had mil military ballots being counted for three days. People there counted uh, how they looked like Xerox copies and 95% were for Joe Biden. There were 8,000 more Yokava votes um, than the 2016 election. It went from 1,600 ballots to 9,600 ballots. Numerous other counties had large increases. Thank you. Dennis Hudson and then Blue. <coughs> I, I will I will take them in the order I got them. Thank you, Blue. Uh, good morning. My name is Dennis Hudson. I'm a fourth generation member of Mobile, Arizona. And a uh, quick historical lesson, and I know to some people you call it CRT, but it's a butt of jokes. But our family's been there for over uh, since the 1920s. Goodyear annexed it uh, in the early. 2006, Mobile was 20,000 acres allocated to color folks, feel full water rights, mineral rights, and manufacturer rights. Goodyear annexed it in 2006, and up to that time, uh, we were doing okay. We accepted waste management, we supported waste management to come into the community. They were supposed to support our community and do all the things they were gonna do, and I talked to a supervisor about the money that they were supposed to be giving and from what he was saying, the money was not there. And I talked to waste management, it's supposed to be 50,000 a year, which is really an insult because Merrill Wilcox said that the, 50, the monies were supposed to be distributed through all county, Maricopa County districts. But we have not seen any of that money. And to my calculation, it should be close to a million dollars now. And I'd like to know where, where it is. They say they're giving it to you, but I have not seen it and it's supposed to be used directly for the use of the members of the community. We have a community center that's in disarray and we don't have anything to show for it. So I'd like to, ask, I'm asking the county, where is our money? It's not for a sheriff department, it's not for fire. That's no money, that's directly supposed to be used for us. So I'd like to know where that money is. Again, when Goodyear annexed it, they've taken away housing rights for people. People have to move off their properties and leave their land because they're making it unusable for them. And the, and the developer said that there was nobody in opposition, but a lot of people didn't get the notification. So I don't know if the county bothered to contact the landowners, the absentee landowners or not, but I've talked to a lot of them and they haven't received anything. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Blue. And next up will be Diane Barker. As an agency, you allow input on all of the agenda items. I was over at the uh, RPTA audit and finance and there, for some reason, they feel the public shouldn't be inputting at all because what they have is when you input, you have to input all three agencies and all of the different uh, agenda items. And I was speaking on four agenda items that I brought forth and it said, hey, I appreciate it if the uh, chair, when these things are brought up to input them into the record that I have stated it, because when you're doing it at the beginning of that one meeting, what's happening? Well, I was in the midst of expressing how I had gone to a doctor's appointment out at 147th and Bell. And on my way out there, I watched and saw how much congestion, and Bell Road was supposed to be extended all the way to 103rd. I would have used the bus to get there. But then when I was on Grand Avenue, and saw the congestion and such, you know, three quarters of a mile, I went, where is that bus and where's the plan to put one out there? Because this is a part of the situation. Five different communities are along that route. And I remember when Phoenix uh, put the bridge there at uh, 27th, 
I asked, how's the connectivity going to happen to the Grand Avenue bus? And you took it away. So how is that actually getting to the uh, gist of the problem? Also, when I was trying to express this, uh, Miss Dillon, when the three-minute buzzer went off, said, step away. And I tried to finish my point, at which point the uh, chairman said, is the officer there? Thank you, Blue. Just a thought, y'all. Diane Barker. <clears throat> Good morning, Jack Sellers, supervisors. I'm in District 5 and enjoying this beautiful day uh, here downtown. Um, I come to you in a little bit of green because I found out through Ancestry that I do have some Irish in me amongst some other, which, you know, I consider myself very, very American, a melting pot, 13 generation, I say all of that, and a couple of bucks will get you a discount seat on the bus. And in a good story, I had my phone returned two weeks ago coming down at Sunny Slope at 10.30, I was making a transfer on the zero bus, and in the rush, I lost my phone. And Verizon, people said, you're not getting your phone back, tried. I went into the ticketing, which is over where Mag is, and they said, well, let's just go and, and fire up some of these phones back here, put a little electricity, and she looks, she says, yeah, that's you. She saw a picture, so you know I like that. But today in history, March the 13th, there are a couple things that happen. I'm an advocate for women's rights, people's rights. And uh, Susan B. Anthony passed on. She lived a long life, 86 years of age, and her hallmark was that she, as a suffragette, she really was on the hallmark for the 19th Amendment to get the right to vote for women. And today we see that women are a big electorate in our society, and we must remember that uh, not only for people that are running for office, but for women's rights. The other thing is Breonna Taylor was killed on this day, and we must remember that no knock warrantless search warrants are wrong. Thank you. Okay, supervisor summary of current events. County manager. Nothing today, Chairman, thank you. Supervisor Hickman. Well, thanks for making allowances uh, for me to get past whatever this is. Uh, so I appreciate uh, seeing you guys today. Um, just a couple things. Uh, uh, last week, I guess it was two weeks ago, I went out and spoke to the uh, Sun City Prides, the, the people that volunteer and keep Sun City looking clean and uh, kept up. And our our McDot crew was out there. They always buy uh, all of our lunches and get a chance to talk to us. So, uh, And they gave me a little bit of an honor uh, about being their supervisor for the last decade. And I very much appreciated it. Um, they're just great people. And this, this is absolutely volunteerism in action on a government, you know, on what some people would believe is government service, keeping the roads, keeping the streets clean, trees pruned, plants planted. Um, they just do not get enough credit, both the Sun City and Sun City West Prides for that. So I couldn't be happier working with them over the last decade on the things that they do out there. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to mention is uh, that if you hear some planes in the coming in the coming weeks, um, Luke Air Force is having their Luke days, and I believe it's the weekend of the 23rd. But uh, anyway, that's uh, the sound of freedom is going to be all over this West Valley for uh, for those days, and I'm so glad that they brought that air show back because the West Valley for sure looks forward to it, and I invite uh, Tom Galvin to make sure he brings his son. Pretty cool. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's that's what I have and uh, appreciate appreciate again seeing you guys today. Thank you, Clint. 
Vice Chair Galvin. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, first of all, Mr. Chairman, thank you for running a nice and tidy meeting. But I want to individually point out and thank the uniform officers that are here today to help ensure that we do what we're supposed to be doing, which is the people's business. So I, in a note of appreciation to our uniformed officers for not only being here. Excuse me, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I am speaking. Ma'am, ma'am. Keep it up, keep it up. I'm speaking. Okay. And right now I'm thanking officers here, thanking officers here for putting their lives on the line. Okay. You want to disrespect officers? Because I'm noting how they're putting their lives on the line to protect us and save us. You're this. Not an officer. Yeah. Sorry. No. All right. Excuse, Thank you. Excuse Thank you. Your me. performance is noted. Thank you. But I either, want to thank either stop the disruption or I will have you removed from the meeting. Thank so you. You plan this. You plan this specifically to do this on purpose. We hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I don't know. Why don't you fill out a slip? I did. Okay, well then you did it too late because I just saw you walk in. So I'm talking. You want to get yourself kicked out again? Keep it up. Because I'm thanking these police officers every single day who have to deal with you guys. I've never been kicked out, sir. Who's shushing me? I'm shushing them. I can't hear you. This is ridiculous. Every single two weeks we try to do this here. This is the people's business. We represent 4.5 million people in this county. You don't get to control what other people get to hear. Okay, so, okay, yeah, keep it up, keep it up. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep talking, you get to hear, you get to hear what I talk about. So two weeks ago, I was at the East Animal, Animal Care Shelter. Uh, this is what Maricopa County's building, I'm very proud of it. And I wanna thank our Assistant County Manager, Valerie. I wanna thank our Animal Control Director, Okay, I, I, I'm, good. I'm going to give you one more warning. If you keep disrupting this meeting, we will recess until you're removed. We would like to continue. So please stop the disruptions. Can I speak? Thank you. Are we allowed to speak? Can we turn our slips in? You can turn your slips in if you arrive within 10 minutes after the meeting starts. Otherwise, it, it does not fit with the normal flow of the county's business. Who made up that role? Mr. Chairman, anyways, I'm gonna finish my remarks and I'll be brief. Two weeks ago, I visited the East Valley Animal Care Control Shelter that is being constructed right now. This is something that's gonna be serving not only folks in my district, but the East Valley and the entire county. And I'm very proud of the folks that have been working hard on this. I'm looking forward to when this building gets unveiled, when we're gonna have a grand opening in the next few months. This county does a lot of different lines of dis business here in this county and animal can care is an important issue for me. I think it's really important for folks as we heard earlier today, we're gonna be distributing doggy bowls and dog shoes for folks who need it for their animals. Mr. Chairman, once again, I wanna thank you for the way you can handle this meeting. We have a lot of folks here who all wanna speak. Some of them do it respectfully, some of them don't because they're selfish. But I understand everyone here has the right to speak, so Mr. Chairman, thank you once again. Vaccines being at on every corner. Supervisor Gallardo. That's what it's about, vaccines. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Um, exciting times in, in, in District 5. We continue to be out there. Weather is beautiful right now, so we're able to be out there um, on various events that, that come about. Gila Band was the most recent Founders Day. These are the opportunities to be able to sit down and meet with the people, the community, meet with all of them, hear their concerns and address some of their issues. Um, continue to work with the Gila Bend Fire District, the school district and the town in order to address their issues. So a big shout out to the people of Gila Bend for, for all the support for Maricopa County and for us to be able to continue to, to work together, build that collaboration, so shout out to them. Um, Levine Barbecue, huge event. <laughs> it's a partnership with the city, uh, city of Phoenix and the state, the county, everyone comes together. It's uh, anywhere from, man, either seven to 8,000 people within Levine and surrounding communities coming together. Again, an opportunity for everyone to talk, address some of the issues, uh, get to know each other, get to build those relationships. It's always a great, I think it's like their 72nd uh, barbecue um, that they have out there. So just an awesome event. Thank you for them for inviting us once again to being out there for that full day. Tolleson had their Latin Music Festival event. Again, be able to sit down with the council and the people of Tolleson. Again, talk about those issues. How do we build those collaborations? It takes a village. It takes everyone coming together to address uh, some of the issues. And then a huge event over the weekend that we have in District 5, it's an 
It's an annual event, the NASCAR Shriner 500. I was out there at the NASCAR race. We're talking uh, just uh, millions and millions of dollars brought into Arizona's economy. Uh, folks coming in to watch the race, those that are staying in our hotels and the restaurants in the East Valley or the West Valley. I always tell folks, you come to uh, the West Valley uh, on a NASCAR week and try to find a, a place to eat or stay because they're just so full. So shout out to uh, Phoenix International Raceway, put on a great event. We'll see the championship race in, uh, in Phoenix, I think November or some, I think it's November. Uh, yeah, November, they'll have the championship race right back here in the valley. So it's just a great time to be out there, continue to build those relationships with the people of Maricopa County. And, uh, and I like to echo what uh, Supervisor Galvin, thank you to all the law enforcement officers that have been here uh, to ensure that everyone's safety uh, is here and be able to allow us to conduct the people's business. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Steve. Six people are not we the people, Mr. Chairman. They're not. Oh, we represent you four million. million. You hired all these sheriffs, yeah, yeah. so we couldn't talk. Cool. This is ridiculous. Next. Supervisor Gates. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would echo the comments uh, thanking all of our officers here today and all they do across Maricopa County. Uh, Mr. Chair, this is actually the first time I've had an opportunity to speak here since uh, Supervisor Hickman announced that he will not be running uh, later on this year. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank Supervisor Hickman for his incredible service for Maricopa County District 4 and all of the county. So thank you very much, Clint. Uh, good to see you on the screen. Uh, look forward to seeing you here again. Obviously, these won't be my last words on your incredible service, but it's been an honor of my career and lifetime to serve with you. So, so thank you, Clint. Um, also, in the vein of District 4, I wanted to thank uh, Supervisor Hickman for mentioning the Luke Air Show, and uh, I will be attending the Luke Air Show along with my family, and in particular, two of his constituents, uh, my father, uh, actually three of them, uh, my father, my stepmother, and my uncle, who are all District 4 constituents and will proudly be there at the Luke Air Show. And finally, I wanted to give a big uh, thank you to the Elections Department for running great elections in Litchfield Park, as well as Tempe yesterday. And for those of you who are engaged, uh, who haven't had an opportunity to vote yet in the uh, presidential preference election, election date is on March 19th. So if you haven't mailed in your ballot yet, I would encourage you uh, to bring your ballot into uh, one of our vote centers or uh, at a drop box here in Maricopa County. And if you're wanting to know where the closest location is for you in Maricopa County, I would encourage you to go to elections.maricopa.gov slash voting slash where to vote. It'll tell you the closest location for you to either vote in person or to drop off your mail ballot. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And Mr. Chairman, just real briefly, just to piggyback real quickly on Mr. Gates, we're looking at a record turnout this year once again. Republicans, Democrats, independents all coming out to exercise the most fundamental right, their right to vote, and that is what's something that we can all celebrate. Broken machine. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I will only, uh, I've had a lot of activities going on that I would talk about, but uh, it seems pointless this morning. I will make one comment, and that is that I, I've seen it posted that we illegally adjourned the last meeting, or I did, because of a, uh, a necessity to go to a Maricopa Association of Governments Regional Council meeting. Uh, I am not a member of that committee, and I have never, ever adjourned a Maricopa County Board of Supervisors meeting as chairman uh, so that I could attend some other meeting. Never, and I will not. So with that, I, the meeting is adjourned. <laughs>